I never heard of an Ino Smart Box until I was on the Tedco Toys website the other day and I discovered they literally had over 75 different Ino Smart Boxes that feature any science experiment you could ever think of. I'm Josh and I decided to give this water egg science kit a try and found it had some really cool experiments that are fun, easy to do, and I actually learned something from them. The kit came with easy to follow instructions that featured four different experiments. Waterproof sand, melting iceberg, super thirsty cup, and thirsty diaper gels. The kit explained about hydrophilic or water loving materials and hydrophobic or water fearing materials. There are two experiments for each and my friend Josh and I will do our best to demonstrate them for you. Our first experiment will be the super thirsty cup. What we need is magic powder, a cup, and some water. First, we're going to sprinkle in some of the magic powder into the cup. Next, we're going to pour in some water into the cup. Now we're going to wait and see what's happening. Now I'm going to pour it out and see what the results are. As you can see, nothing is coming out. Now why does this work? The magic powder is a hydrophilic chemical that absorbs water molecules. Huh. Feels exactly like foam. The second experiment is waterproof sand. What we'll need for this experiment is regular sand, waterproof sand, a sculpting tool, water, and the observation tank. Our first step is to pour some water into the observation tank. Next, we will slowly pour the waterproof sand into the observation tank. After you've poured it in, the sand may not go down all the way, so with the sculpting tool, kind of push it into the water. The waterproof sand is dry because it is coated with a substance that is hydrophobic. Now we're going to repeat the previous steps with the regular sand this time, pouring in water first. Notice how regular sand soaked in with the water and is completely wet, unlike the waterproof sand which is completely dry. So the result of this experiment is the regular sand gets wet and the waterproof sand does not. Our third experiment will be to create a melting iceberg. Now we cheated a little bit and made our ice cube in advance so we wouldn't bore you to death watching water freeze. Which allows me to skip to step number four in the instruction manual. Put an ice cube inside the tank. On to step number five which says fill up the tank with water. And now we're going to wait until the ice cube melts entirely. Now you may think the water would overflow, but that's not the case. Now let me tell you why that happens. Ice is slightly less dense than water. This means it weighs less than water. This allows the ice to float slightly above the surface of the water. As the ice melts, it takes on a liquid form like the water. However, the water formed takes up less space than the ice. Therefore, the beaker does not overflow. The water molecules clinging to one another also create water tension, preventing the water from flowing over the edge of the beaker. To get all 75 I Know Smart kits for yourself and learn about other cool science toys, visit www.tedcotoys.com. That is T-E-D-C-O-T-O-Y-S dot com. To find more cool science videos, type in Tedco in the search engine.